Hello and welcome to the Alubond Abu Dhabi T10, powered by Sky247.net. This is match number one for day two. The Pune Devils will be taking on the Calanders. Thank you so much, Graham Swan. Here's the Dream 11 team lineup. Looks like we're ready to roll, so I throw up now to Danny Morrison and Lisa Staleka. And then uh, Nasser Hussain and his Pune Devils. Gonna have to bat first as opposed to bowling first last night from England. Here we go, first ball, match four. Just a little bit of slant in, a bit of skid, as you can probably appreciate from the Sultan. But if they can have an impact, then they'll certainly be really useful, as this one's found the boundary as well, just hitting through the offside. And uh, any of the top order are going to relish this. Yeah, just skids on, too short, too much... Both from Sri Lanka, though. Oh, and this is over the top as well. Toss one by the Calunders. Just enough on it. Fingertip control. Man, if you toss the ball up and you've got mid off up. But Skiddy it from Sammy P. Has he got enough on it? Has he? Has he? Well, he picked up 12 runs off six deliveries in the first game, and he's already Coming making a name for himself here. On again. How good is this? How far up the back has it gone? To kind of break up. Tom has the ability to go the slog sweep. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, it's a good shout, good shout. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, he just kind of walks across, yeah, plants the front foot, and mm, maybe going down leg. Yeah, if you miss your length, that's what happens. T10, previously 27. But yeah, absolutely missed his length, trying to go for the fourth Yorker in a row. Obviously, Collier Cadmore picked it. Well, this time... A juicy full toss and put away as well. Oh dear, naughty, naughty. Third in place, even though he was up inside. So hail Tanvia. Goes again, this time a little bit better and over. A little bit of width. Pace on and, and smoke him. Look at that go. Look at it fly. Yeah, it's nicely bowled, but it's no third man. Wonderfully played, opens the. First one went for 10. Oh, yeah, length. And got enough of it, didn't he? He was outside off stump. Will be over the top of leg stump, in around the thigh pad area, or the inside thigh. And there we go. That one's gone straight over mid off. It's gone all the way. Wonderful piece of timing. Mr. So Hale's decided to bang this in, but it's a lovely free swing. So Chris Jordan to bowl the last over for the Calanders. Oh. -ho. What's well, going out here? Is this out? Yeah, the dancing shoes on, moving around the crease, and then up. Oh, and uh, yeah, loses a bit of poise as well, for me. And he's gone for all his hard work as well to get it there. Here's Lenny Kravitz out in the middle. Yeah, Chadwick Walton, he's a star customer. Holy moly! Tom Banton down there, but he didn't have a chance. Look at that. That is absolutely spanked. Maybe could have done better. You know, desert in the background. Gorgeous Abu Dhabi. Oh, it simply raced away this time. He went. Very nice. Goes for the Yorker. Just misses the hole. You see third is very wide. Yeah, great scenes here at Zayed. Limited to 107 for two with a pretty good performance from uh, the Calunders. The bowlers will be quite happy. I think the coaching staff will be. Colin Cadden with that 54 stands out from 28 deliveries. And Rasuli, good hand from him. The youngster, 39 from 24 was a good hand. And Walton just, uh, well, a little bit of cherry on the cake there. 
for the uh, Devils to get to 107. For Mohamed Amir, top class Pakistani bowler. Got the new ball. Well, they certainly. Well, chance, chance. This is massive. Well, where's the keeper? Good short ball, but fine legs inside the ring. All the way. Up and over for the first six. Tom Banton up and running. You thought, oh, top edge might just fly and uh, be caught fine leg. No, <laughs> no. Just showed a little bit of guile. Well, this time, Banton just wants to take. He doesn't get it out of the screws. I reckon he's not far running past this, Tom Banton. Maybe even looking to go a lot straighter than that. Goes again, goes good. Oh, that made a great sound. That made an absolutely terrific noise off the bat. Well, you know, one of those type of players that you see in the domestic competition. So he's used to traveling. He's used to playing on different pitches against different oppositions. And one thing he does well is he hits full face of the bat. Doesn't take too many risks. Goes big. Yeah. Yeah, like it. Easy pickings. Well, it's the Delhi Bulls that are just sitting there watching and taking this all in. Yeah, he's got pace. Slightly unusual action. Well, that's going to be another four, I think. Yeah, it's going to roll away. The outfield's like an absolute carpet. It's going to be four more. That's going to run away for four. It's a thick inside edge, but when it's going your way, yeah, you just wonder, the Calanders, obviously, they would have been sitting back last night and taking in all of the information they could from the first three matches. What lengths are good on this pitch? No problem. Chargeel is in on the act. Well, this is the last ball of the last over. Yeah, easy. Boom. Free, free hit, goes for six. Banton, 45 off 17 deliveries. Four sixes and four fours. Oh, dear. Straight up in the air. All yours, Ansari. All yours, Ansari. Yes, Ansari, you little ripper. Ah, the wily old character. He's still got it, hasn't he? Bowls into the pitch this time. Banton probably expecting something a little bit fuller. Yeah, wasn't there to be hit. Yeah, under control. Yeah, big wicket as well. Yeah, he knows that he needs to pump up his side. Oh, swivel pull, swivel pull. Not a biggie. That's gone 20 yards over the road. Sure. But it was there to be hit, wasn't it? It was short, on leg stump. All he had to do was help it on his way. That's going to be four. That's more misfeeling. Four more runs. Well, it clubs it. Doesn't get anywhere near the middle. It's going to run away for another four. That's T10 cricket for you. This one's big. He hasn't had a lot of strike, has he? Yeah, strong unit. Short again, this one more into the wicket and slower, and it will get between them both. Well, he went the short ball, certainly got it up to the badge, but in the end, doesn't matter. To it now, Sahail on strike, he's been up to it, and some. Yeah, well, he got it up near the badge, the helmet, fractionally higher. But hey. Well, he's greeted with a boundary. A little bit of width on offer with a change of pace. It's a hail on strike now, 20. And talk about Riss. Ho, ho, ho. Just snaps them through. Oh, is that taken? No. Had to go for it. Simply... Oh, he sort of got there just. It would have been a miraculous catch. Yeah. And there we go, done. Those wrists again do the work. Didn't necessarily go the way 
that Sahail would have liked to have gone, but still he picks up another boundary, 33 off 13 delivery, seven fours, partnership of 56 off 24 between Sahail and Shajil. Slinging delivery, he's trying to be whipped through the onside, but those fast wrists and hands of Sahail gets the ball down to third man somehow. So summary of match four, Pune Devils were only able to post 107 runs. Colin Cladmore, obviously the best player there, 54 off 28. Rasuli probably started off fairly slow, was going at a run a ball, maybe six, seven runs off similar deliveries and then started to expand his game. Should have gone probably a little bit harder, a lot earlier than what they did the Pune Devils. In the end, Calanders were able to chase down the total in the eighth over and they win by nine wickets. Thank <laughs> you.